Gigantic Rampage Edition is the new and refined return of the original 5v5 game from 2018. This is a third-person MOBA-style hero shooter that draws some similarities to Overwatch with a unique cast of heroes with abilities, objective-based maps, and a lot of strategic depth in hero compositions. So when Gearbox Publishing decided to sponsor this video, appreciate you guys, I figured I'd get the ball rolling with one beginner build for every hero, going in alphabetical order, beginning with Ashling. For Ashling, for the Slash ability, you want to take Spectral Wave first because it turns it from a melee to a ranged attack. It's a lot safer and better for beginners. Next, you want to take Spectral Defense. If you have allies, it gives them armor, and armor is so, so good at reducing damage in this game. For Kator's Command, you want to take Kator's Defenses, gives people armor, and then Kator's Restoration. For Kator's Warcry, you want to go Chastise against melee heroes, but against projectile heroes, you want to go Spectral Barrier. Both are very viable, and it really depends on your matchups. If you went Chastise, take Intimidation, and if you went Spectral Barrier, go for Spectral Armor. For Into the Blade, you generally want to go Shielding Presence, and then go for Pure of Spirit, which is probably one of the best buffs in the game. For the Focus Attack, Terrify, take Skirmishing. It's just like an overall buff for Ashling, Combat Stamina Regen, and it gets you in and out faster. And then take Hit and Run. For the Clash Talent, I recommend Echoes from Beyond. For Beckett's primary fire weapon, you want to take Clip Service, because extra ammo is a lot more forgiving for beginners. And then APM, it does armor ignoring damage. Enough said. For Grenade, you want to go with Crack Troops because it removes their armor, and if you do that, everybody on your team can benefit from it. And then take Smart Grenade because it can interrupt enemies and creatures from collecting. Alright, for Swap Weapon, when you swap over to your cannon, you want to take Rocket Booster first, and then Fully Loaded. And a quick tip here is to swap between these weapons so you never really have to reload. For Jetpack, this is your escape ability, so you want to take talents that amplify it, so fuel capacity and up and away is what I recommend. And then for your focus, you want to take will to power and then refocus to constantly gain more focus to get more airstrikes. For Becca's Clash talent, you want to take Outgunned. For Charnock, you want to take Burn Notice and get that extra burn, and then Stoke the Fire is just a DPS increase, so it's a no-brainer here. For Dragon's Breath, you want to take Fire Shelter to allow you to deflect projectiles, and then Backdraft to give you another peel tool other than just Detonate, because you can knock them away, and because Dragon's Breath is such a short-range ability, it gives you a get-out-of-jail-free card, especially at melee range. Speaking of detonate, take Blast Off for detonate, and it'll give you a bit of DPS when you try to create some separation on enemy assassins who are on your face. And then take Make It Rain, which synergizes very well on our Fireball, because we already gave it Burn Notice and Stoke the Fire. For Hot Hail, you want to take Hunk of Burning Love for a bit of extra DPS if the enemies stay too long, and Meteoric Fall, which is a lot more consistent than the other talents since the other one is a bit too telegraphed. For the focus, you want to take Blazing Fast and then Precision Flame, and for the Clash Talent, take Hail Yes. Or Ezrin Gaul's Soul Calibur, you want to take Unholy Communion first, do you take more souls per hit, which is a lot better for newer players, and then Communal Suffering. For Soul Fire, you take Salt the Earth, it's just extra area damage, and then Soul Decay for some CC. For Spectral Form, this is your escape button, so take it with Spectral Haste to go a lot faster, and Will of the Wisp to make it a lot more durable with Purification and Immunity to Crowd Control. Well of Souls is a little DPS and CC area, so you want to take Unholy Ground to increase that immobilized duration, and then take Cursed Well. Curses remove buffs, so it goes really well with Unholy Communion under your Soul Calibur, because you can always get three souls. For the Focus Path, go for Bloody Minded, and then go for Lifeline. And then for the Clash Talent, Depth Charge. For Griselma's Reach Out, we want to take talents that help keep the Portal Beast alive. So Touch of the Master to Life Steal and Shielding Touch to give it some armor. The secondary fire button is Summon. This is where you get your Portal Beasts from. You want to take Bestial Aura so you can help buff allies and then take Bestial Feast. For Rift Zone, you want to take Shattered Rift and then Rift Burst. For Displacement, take Exit Strategy, and then Escape Hatch. For the Mid Path, go with Fringe Benefits, and then Lifeline. And then for the Clash Talent, go with Phase Variants. For HK's Bullet Barrage, you want to go with Rapid Fire first, it's a basic attack speed modifier, and then High Caliber Rounds, which only works obviously when you're in the fortified form, but it allows you to do a lot more DPS at close range. For Railgun, you want to go with Charged Rounds to make it do a lot more DPS, and Armor Piercing to help enable it further. 
For the mortar, you want to go with impact trigger. It's a reliable get off me tool. And then percussive force. For HK's fortify, that's the transformation button. You want to take siege mode first and then shock absorbers. For the focus mid path, take stonewall and then hero's vitality. For the clash talent, heat transfer. For Imani, for the auto bolts, you want to go with hit and run, so you always have a higher base movement speed because you're always going to be hitting something, and then stopping power to help create separation from any melee assassins getting up in your face. For your toggle scope, go with snapshot and combat sniper. For your special ammo, you want to take die in a fire, and then blast radius, which is a great way to build focus. For your smoke bomb, I'd go with choking gas and a debilitating haze. For your mid path, you want to go with Battle Fury and then Concentration. And then for the Clash Talent, Fog of War, which is so good when you combo it with your Smoke Bomb that has Debilitating Haze, and it gives Imani crazy survivability when she's dove onto. All right, for Kajir Slice, you want to go with Precise Cut and then Organ Pierce. For the Backstab, go with Finesse and then Surgical Cut to keep them in place. For the Unseen Blade, Trick Up the Sleeve and then Prowl. For the Smoke Bomb, Coordinated Trick, and Swift Crew. Nice speed boost. For the Focus, take Endurance first, and then Easy Strider. Easy Strider works very well with Endurance because it allows Kajir to sprint for a long time. For the Clash Talent, Weak Spot. For Lord Gnosis, for the Skewer, you want to take Pierce and Overrun. Both are huge DPS upgrades. For Chuck, Taurus is good, and then Immobilizing Taurus. For Gore, Goring Up and more gore for bull rush raging bull mighty yop which is a nice team-wide engage or disengage tool as it speeds allies and gives them a damage boost for the focus go with bloody minded and hardy and then for the clash talent trample which increases that gore range and reduces the cooldown so you can set up those engages from farther and more often for Mozu's Magic Bolt, we want to go with Run and Hit first, and then Dimensional Offense to give Mozu more damage potential. For the Attractor Beam, we want to go with Cantrip of Disruption, and then opt for Force Feedback. Since they're slowed and they can't jump, it's really good to help lock them down. Arcane Vortex, you can go with Temporal Dilation, and then Warp Factor. For the Dimension Door, Temporal Discontinuity reduces the cooldowns of the other abilities, which will help increase the uptime in team fights, and then Dimensional Rift. For the focus, will to power, refocus, and clash talent, we want to go with added dimension for more range. For Oru's judgment, you want to go with judge and jury first, and then double jeopardy, because we like DPS here, especially for beginners. The beast, we want to go with close to the chest, because it gives you the ability to get divers off of you, which is very good for Oru, because you don't have an escape ability. For the next talent, go with jacked. For the joker, we want to go with the long game, and then Ace in the Hole, which helps add more burst. Cosmic Power, Shattered Destiny, and then Touch of Destiny. For the Focus, Expert Shuffler to help increase your attack speed, which is important for your DPS, and then Fortunate Focus. For the Clash Talent, Expanded Universe is great because it lets you perform your burst more often and more reliably. For Paco, the Frosty Swipes, you want to go with Cold Kit Combo and then Icebreaker. For the Snowball Toss, stick it to him, and then Shattered. Shattered is great because the effects granted when letting that Snowball activate more quickly and reliably. For the Slip and Slide, go with Snow Bowling, and then Forceful Impact, which is a great setup and peel tool. For Frost Path, take the Extended Path, and then a Slippery Slope to help your team leave if a fight goes bad. For the Focus, take Frozen Focus, and then Hardy. And then for the Clash Talent, Lingering Effects, which helps further increase Paco's ability to peel and engage with his team. For Ramsey, I'm actually going to start with the Rush first, the Secondary Fire or the Right Mouse button on PC, because these are the most important level 1 and level 2 abilities, bouncing around and then counterplay. This makes Ramsey extremely potent and can stall power collects very, very well. Now back to Cut, take Juju Magambo and then Open Wounds. For Flurry, take the Whipper Snapper and then Breaking Point. For Juju Fruit, Lasting Effects, and then Smear. Smear makes Ramsey even better against support since he can obviously reduce their healing and remove buffs from the enemies. For Fruit Punch, take Tactical Awareness and then Will to Power. And for the Clash Talent, Poison Coat is pretty good. For Roland, starting off with the Blunderbuss, we want to go for Slug Shells first, which gives you a lot more range because he's otherwise pretty short range without it, and then Gas Propelled Shells. For the Entangling Bolas, go for Precision Throw and then Burning Bolas. 
For the attack drone, Gatling drone, and then armor piercing shot. And for the grappling hook, fast feet and escape mechanism, which is obviously useful if someone tries to follow you when you escape. And then for the focus mid path, we want to go with killer instinct and then blood hunter. And the stamina is great for escaping and snowballing fights. For the clash talent, extended cord. For Rutger's digging claws, we want to go clawing for shield first and then granite aura. For tremors, we want to go with spike damage and then rock to the core. For Burrow, we want to go with Seismic Activity to give Rutger more versatility, and then give me the slowdown. For Rock Barrier, Tear Down, and then Mineral Heavy. For the Focus, go with Hardy, and then Hardened Resolve. And for the Clash Talent, Mountain Range. For T-Mat's Energy Blast, let's open up with Flame Blasted. And after that, take Firecracker. For the Homing Missiles, take High Priority Target, and then Overkill. For the Thrusters, Booster Pack is great, and Hyperdrive afterwards. For EMP, I like EM Signature and the Disruptor Module. And for the focus, take Empty Shells and Skirmishing, which is just basically increased survivability. And for the Clash Talent, Vigorous Thrusting. For the Margrave, Demon Fist, take Counter first because it's a consistent interrupt on a short cooldown, which is obviously great for interrupting Collect, and then Resounding Counter. For Hellburst, take Eternal Flame and then give him Hell. For charge 4th, go with Relentless and then Irresistible Charge, it's great for an engage and an escape tool. Staggering Leap, you want to take Smackdown and then Leap before you look, just reduce the cooldown, increase the uptime. For the mid path, look for Hero's Vitality, it's just more HP, he's a tank right? And then Stonewall, and for the Clash Talent, Impact Crater. For Trip, the Lightning Strikes, you want to go with Power Surge and then Overload, of course speed is great. Plasma Blades go for Marked for Death, and then Shattering Blades, it's just gonna help you increase your kill pressure. For the Electric Slide, I like Heal Blade, and then Kicking into Gear. For the Flash Dance, Storm Surge, great escape tool, and In a Flash. For the Mid Path, Killer Instinct, and then Will to Power. And then for the Clash Talent, I'd go with Storm Rider so you can have your escape tool more often. For Taito the Swift, we have Talon as the first ability, Hidden Talon is the first talent I would take, and then Evade Defenses. For Swoop, we would go with Cut Down and then Predatory Instincts, which is a great finishing tool and an escape. For Blade Dance, we want to go with Bleed Dance, and then Cyclone. For Fang, we'll go with Pounce and then Gnawing Out, and then for the Focus Mid Path, Easy Strider, which further improves your escape, and then Skirmishing. For the Clash Talent, swooping it up. Uncle Sven, one of the best heroes in the game. Fire Flask, you want to take Flame Out, and then Slow Roasted. For Acid Flask, I'd go with Aminol Acid, and then Acid Reflex, which reduces the cooldown by three seconds. For Elastic Ooze, Bounces Off Me is great, and then Absorption Matrix, which allows you to sustain your teammates in a team fight. Healing Waters, Put purest ingredients in and then persistent purgative. For the focus mid path, take focused healing and then amity, which is useful because you'll always be with your team getting assists and benefiting from this. And for the clash talent, oohs and ahs. For Vadasi, ray of light, we want to take Sakur and then righteous defense. For the smite, I like chain smiting and then meltdown. For Divine Wind, a Foment of Prayer, which helps you resustain yourself since you spend so much HP using your orbs, and then take Cleansing Wind. For Devotion, I like Resolute Sacrifice, which increases her survivability, and then Sanctuary. For the Focus, take Another's Keeper, and then Amity, which helps her survive, and then the Clash Talent, Divine Light. For Vodin, one of my new favorite heroes, under the Arrowed ability, you want to take Deadeye first, and then Bow Flex, very simple charge speed buffs. For Poison Spores, you want to take Seeking Spores, and then Hungry Spores, and it's always guaranteed damage for your burst, because it homes and aims for you. Great for beginners. For Green Man, I like Companion's Boon. And now here it gets interesting, because the Votem players will say don't upgrade the last talent here, because the trade-off of losing DPS for this utility isn't worth it, and it's less DPS. In Rush Mode, you will have to take something, so take Spore Imitation. For Hidden Spring, take Geyser, and then Burst Force. And then for the Focus, Mid Path, Easy Strider, and then Hit and Run. And for the Clash Talent, Heart of Oak. For Wu, this hero is kind of complicated, not recommended for beginners, but let's do our best here. Rain of Blows is the first thing you should level up. Flowing Fist, you have to use this ability after every skill in a combo. I'll show you the full setup later on. Take Rupture next, and for the Splash Kick, you want to take Burst of the Dam, 
and then Splash Zone, which is a bigger AoE to apply that cracked armor. For Crashing Waves, take Rushing Water and then Fluid Reactions to help you stay in the fight. For Tongue Lash, you have to take Wet Your Appetite. This is what makes Wu really good because it helps you extend his combo with this cooldown reset. Then take Lick and Load right after. For the Focus Mid Path, take Battle Ready and then Hit and Run. And for the Clash Talent, Wave Pattern is pretty good because it gives you more protection to survive. Now, I mentioned earlier that Wu's Flowing Fist is to be used after every skill in the combo, so you basically cycle your abilities with the Flowing Fist right after, and then you Tongue Lash to reset all your cooldowns and do it all over again, and it should look something like this. For Zenobia, for Gaze of Envy, I like Greedy Gaze for more healing, and then Domineering Glare, because since you're healing more with Greedy Gaze, you will probably get more value out of this because you'll be at over 50% health more often. For Words of Spite, take Echo of Spite, and then Cutting Words, which is great to quickly debuff the enemy before an engagement. For Wave of Sorrow, take Banishing Sorrow, and then Heightened Sorrow. For Mark of Despair, I like Depths of Despair, and then Toxic Relationship. For the focus, take Amity and then Lifeline for more sustain, and it all just kind of compounds with each other, right? With Lifeline and all that healing. And then the Clash Talent, Reach of Despair. For the last hero, Zandora, the Star Lance Strike. You want to take Aura Renewal, which allows Zandora to maintain uptime on the auras to continue providing value to the team. And then take Aura Affinity second. Strength Activation, I like Lancing Blow and then Faux Fire. For haste activation, the rainbow dash, we want to use this one, and you get to keep your aura ability if you don't sprint. Dash of healing next. For life activation, you want to take bursting with life, which is better burst heals, but you do lose that cleanse. Life of the party is great afterwards. For the mid focus, take amity, and then hero's vitality. And then for the clash talent, speed persisted, so at least keep the speed boost for three seconds after leaving the aura. And that is it for the beginner build you can opt for. Big shout out to Northstar for assisting me in curating these builds as he's been a gigantic player for years. His channel will be a great source for more gigantic Rampage Edition content. Thank you all for watching and enjoy the game, fellas.